Assalamu alaikum and welcome back. Today we are going to talk about uh, image enhancement techniques and the second part of spatial filtering. So uh, in the previous um, class we have talked about the uh, low pass filter and the median filter. Today we are going to talk about the high pass filters and uh, which do the sharpening for an images for an image sorry. So a high pass filter this was my frequency it will has a risk it will have a response something like this the low frequency values will be suppressed and the high frequency values will be uh, further enhanced so the principal objective of sharpening is to highlight the fine details okay is to highlight the fine details whereas the principal operation of the smoothing filter was to suppress the lower details and uh, which may be considered as noise but if the if your uh, image is noise free and you want to enhance the fine details then you are going to use a high pass filter so um, so this is basically is done after blurring an image you enhance the image once more either in an error as a nature of uh, or as a nature effect of a particular method of image acquisition so basically image blurring is accomplished by a special filter by averaging and uh, since averaging is analogous to integration sharpening is basically analogous to differentiation okay so this is the idea so what we are going to do here we are interested in the behavior of uh, these uh, derivatives in the area where constant gray levels or flat segments uh, at one set of the end uh, is discontinued this is step and ramp is discontinuous and the analog gray level ramps so basically if you have a value which is straight line what's a derivative of a constant derivative of a constant is zero okay so and you have a line which is something uh, moving up and the value is changing then you can have a derivative so these type of discontinuities can be nose points so this is what we are interested in so where we are interested in the behavior of these derivatives in the areas where constant gray level flat segments uh, at the onset and the end of the discontinuities a step or ramp of discontinuities which is analogous to gray level ramps now what is uh, the derivative of this line it will be uh, or a discontinuity it will be a little bit a ramp so you can have that um, change from the constant to the ramp by finding uh, by using uh, uh, sharpening filters so the definitions of the first derivatives uh, must be uh, zero and flat segments okay this is a flat segment derivative of a constant is zero must be non-zero at onset of gray level ramps so if there is a ramp a ramp something going like this then it should be non-zero must be non-zero along ramps also so this is uh, what we talk what we are talking about in gray level values so the definition the definition of second derivatives must be zero on uh, flat areas must be zero along ramps of constant stop why if you remember this is a flat ramp it's a constant then uh, it's uh, let's say it's a function y is equal to 1 so the derivative of 1 is 0 this is a ramp which is constant ramp then this is y is equal to uh, sorry y is equal to x derive it the first time it will be a constant derive it the second time it will be a 0 it should be non zero on the onset and the end of a gray level stop which is something like having a um, um, step function like this so it's it will be something like a step function like this now so when it comes to derivatives the derivative of f uh, df by dx is equal to f of x plus 1 minus f of x okay so this is the basic derivative uh, of one dimensional function f of x so it is the value of the next pixel okay the value of the next pixel minus the value of the current pixel okay remember if, if I'm, we are talking about pixels over here and we are talking about 
uh, discrete values. We are not talking about continuous values. So the derivative of f of x is f of x plus 1 minus f of x. The second derivative of f of x is basically f of x plus 1 minus f of x minus 1 minus 2f minus 2f. This is the, defin the definition of the second derivative for a function. So let's apply this a little bit. So you can see here we have different values. Okay, you can see here we have different values. These three values are zeros. This is a one and it's applied here as an image to show you the values. This is a lighter one, it's a two, three, two, zero, zero, two, two, six, which is light, three. So, so you see here, it's flat, then it's continuous, then it's continuous, then it's like, a, uh, sorry, then it's like a ramp one, one time, then it goes up again, then it goes flat, then it shoots up, then it shoots down, and this is our basically our image so we want to see the derivatives okay of this image in order to find our sharpened image so to find the first derivative what is the first derivative we said it, it is f of x plus 1 minus f of x so in order to find the value over here this pixel we need two pixels this is my f of x and this is my f of x plus one okay this is my f of x and this is my f of x plus one so f of x plus one is zero minus zero it will give you zero then these two then these two will give me this one over here then these two will give me this one over here so f of x plus one minus f of x will give me one then these two will give me this one over here. So it is 2 minus 1, which is 1. Then 3 minus 2, which is 1. Then 2 minus 3, which is minus 1. Then 0 minus 2 is minus 2. Then 0 minus 0, which is 0. Then 2 minus 0, which is 2. Then 2 minus 2, which is 0. Then 6 minus 2, which is 4. Then 3 minus 2, which is minus 3, and so on. For the second derivative, we are going to take a different approach. For the second derivative, we are going to take three pixels, okay? We are going to take three pixels, and our function is basically, sorry, our function is basically f of x plus one minus f of x minus one minus two f of x. So if I'm going to do for this pixel, so f of x plus one minus f of x minus one minus two f of x. We apply this, and we are going to get our output as like this. Now, if you, if you try to draw it, you will find that the pixels are a little bit more uh, sharpened. You will have your slopes more steep, and you can see that your picture will become more sharpened. So, basically, uh, the Laplacian, or what we call the second derivative, uh, is uh, the operator, which is having these values because uh, what we talked about over here is basically for one dimension and if you want to apply it for two dimensions then you are going to have to do for uh, the x and you have to do for the y combining them together you get something like this you get a function which is something like this so the second derivative of a sharpening filter will be looking something like this which is f of x uh, plus 1, f of x minus 1, f of y plus 1, f of y minus 1, all of them sum them together, minus 4xy, 4xy, because over here we had 2 of, of, two, two of f of x, so 2 of f, f of x minus 2 f of f of y, and we are talking about the same point, which is the middle point over here, you end up, if you cross these together, you will end up with something like this. This is the two-dimensional Laplacian transform. Um, this can go uh, furthermore, as you can see here, this is a one, a one, 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 and this is a minus four. This is the, this is the same function over here with zeros padding. So you end up something like this. You can have it 
something like this and you can have it with something like this it depends how you want to apply your Laplacian filter to your image so uh, the implementations is basically g of f of x y is equal to f of x y minus the second derivative of the uh, image so if the center coefficient is negative and here uh, plus if the center coefficient is positive where f of x y is the original image and um, uh, the uh, delta square f of x y is the Laplacian filtered image and g of x y is the sharpened image so this is my output this is my sharpened image this is my original image and this is my output of the filter okay so if you try to apply it this is your original image and this is your Laplacian image this is your enhanced image and this is your Laplacian image so basically so basically what we do okay we have our original image we apply the Laplacian filter to it we get this image okay then we sum these two to get this image now this image you will tell me it's uh, it's the same no it's not the same you see here the points you see how the details are much more emphasized okay of course this is the scaled display we scale it from uh, we scale it from uh, uh, it was here from 0 to 255 here we scaled it we gave the lowest value the some intensity and we shown the pixels so here you can see the details that which are going to be applied to the image so basically your filtered image your output image is the summation uh, your filtered image is the summation of the original image plus the um, sharpened image so this is your original image this is your in your uh, enhanced image using mask 4 uh, minus 4 this is your enhanced image using my mask it um, how you apply your masks I will go back a little bit here how you apply your masks will, will uh, depend from which angle you want to apply or which, from which angle you want to see more details okay from which angle you want to see more details so another way which is unsharpened mask unsharpened mask is the process of sharpening an image consisting of con consists of subtracting a blurred image version of the image by itself so this is an image this is a blurred image subtract them you get this image from here so this is called also high boost filtering in a high boost filtering we uh, it's called f of hp high boost in the high boost filtering we subtract and we boost the value by a minus one where a is greater than or equal to zero if a is equal to zero we end up with a normal uh, f of s if a is greater than zero then we start boosting our value of an image so a high boost filtering of an image is defined at any point as uh, uh, as if uh, if we chose the laplacian then we will know that f of x y is this so this is the high boost filtering a f of x y minus f of x y a is greater than or equal to zero now another definition of a minus one multiplied by f of x y plus f of x y which is the original image the boosted image minus the uh, uh, minus the uh, blurred image okay uh, also so this is the uh, a of uh, a minus one is f of x y minus f of s where f of s was defined over here as the unsharpened mask image okay so um, same idea but over here we multiply by eight the same idea what we multiply by eight in the high pass filter this part was uh, one 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 minus four here it's minus one minus one minus one minus one and four so it will look um, if you want to look at it it will look like a cone like this and the minus one is going down here it's an eight and all of it is going down like this okay so i think i will stop here for this part and we will continue talking about it in the second part inshallah